ng happen sa inyong lahat. Discuss na natin it so. Okay. Vaughn, can you please read the title of our lesson for today? Uh, computing for the point state and confidence interval of the population proportion. Okay, thank you. So, in the previous lesson, we, it is um, the same. The same in what aspect po? When it comes to computing the confidence interval, pare pareha sila. We have the lower limit and we have the upper limit. Meaning to say, kung hindi mo na nasundan yung mga previous lesson, nahihirapan ka na dito. Basta ang tatandaan nyo lang, if your standard deviation is known, your N should be uh, greater than or equal to 30, no? Mataas yung value ng n mo. If the standard deviation is unknown, meaning to say, that is, uh, standard deviation is unknown, and aside from that, your n is less than 30. If it is less than 30, you're going to use the t-table if it is uh, less than 30. But if it is greater than 30, yung value ng sample size or your n, we're going to use the uh, critical value of z. Okay? Z table ang ating gagamitin. I repeat, if your n is less than 30, that is t table. If your n is greater than or equal to 30, that is z table. Here, we're going to observe the uh, sample size if it is n is greater than or equal to 30 or less than 30 and welcome once again to the interval or confidence interval population proportion that is the combination of day 11 and day 12 we have three objectives define compute and calculate the confidence interval of the point estimate and the population proportion including the standard error First, let's have a quick review on the previous uh, lesson and that will be the uh, confidence interval when standard deviation is known. So as you can see, your n here is less than 30. That's why t table. Now I want you to compute number 1 in 1 minute and timer starts now. Please bring out your calculator can use our chat box or info messages kasi naka-join na yung isang sa phone account. Nakita ko yung mga itatype niyo dyan. So, you can utilize the info messages for your answer. So, as you can see, we have four decimal places in letter A, three decimal places in letter B, and we have three decimal places in letter C, and 23 point, I have three decimal places in Letter D. Please compute po. <coughs> Excuse me po. Eliminated na dyan si B at C ha. Eliminated tong B at C. So, ang sagot dapat dyan, it's either A or B because our X bar or the mean is 25. So, naglalaro lang siya sa 20 something, no? Kasi yung formula, yes? Yes, recorded naman lahat palagi yung ginagawa natin. So, <clears throat> what is the answer in number one? What is the answer in number 1? You have n is 50. And I think 6 is SD. So this is our standard deviation 6. Kasi hindi nalagay yung S. Kulang ng given. 
So, x bar is equal to 25, s is equal to 6, n is equal to 20, 20. Then, cl natin dyan is 90. Tapos, yung ating alpha, alpha here is uh, 10%. So what is the T value of 90% and we have the DF of 19 because if you're going to compute the DF you must get the value of your N then minus 1 that's why DF here is 19 then punta kayo doon sa table ninyo sa T, uh, T table hanapin nyo si 90% at si 19. I-trace ninyo kung ilan yung t-value na magkukuha natin. Anyone from the class? Just bring out your module po. Yung module ninyo, nandoon yung table. Sa previous lesson natin, day number 10. Wala ba ni isa sa inyo EBM ang magbibigay sa akin ng value ng t? Or t-value? Dito ba si Irish? Alex? Hello. So what is the T value? What is the T value of 90% of 19? 1.729. 1.729. Okay. Next, we're going to compute the confidence interval. That is X bar minus the T na compute natin, the value. Tapos, SD, oh, hindi tayo gagamit ng population of standard deviation kasi yung N natin is mababa. Lagay natin S, pero same lang yung computation. Okay. So, what is the answer, guys? Compute nyo na. Dalagay ko lang yung formula natin dito. Yan. Pagkakaalala ko yan yung formula. So, this is our L1, and this is our L2, and please compute what is our L1, LL, or upper, lower. What is LL? Low. Oh, compute nyo na yung LL nya. 20, X verse 25 minus 1.729. Check nyo, baka yung sa choices, mali rin yung sa choices, uh, choices natin. Compute nyo na. X bar is 25 minus 1.729. Tapos, meron tayong S na 6 and square root of N, 20. So, nung lumabas na sagot? 22.68. 22.68. So, how about the UL? UL naman, 25 minus 1.729 and 6 Wait, S yung nandun yan. 6 yan. 6 ito, tapos the square root of 20 27 27.32 Yes? May tanong po ba? Sir? Yes. Sir, yung sa UL po, plus po Minus point na nalagay yes, nyo. it's plus, plus, plus. Okay, the answer is 22.68 and 27.32. So, ibig sabihin yung binigay ng module is mali. So, i-follow natin kung ano yung alam natin ha. Huwag susundan pa lang yung module. Okay, next. How about number two? Random sample of 21 and is equal to 21. And the mean is 24. X bar is 24. Standard devi deviation is 1.5. And the confidence level is 90%. Ibig sabihin, your alpha here, the two tail, is 10%. So, hanapin nyo yung DF, which is equal to 20, kasi 21. So, hanapin na natin yung value ng T distribution natin sa T table. Answer? What is our T value? 
1.725 yung kabila ilan mo 1.725 so 1.725 hour value of t okay ll tayo ll is x bar 24 minus 1.725 1.54s and square root of 21 okay for UL, please compute na po LL24 minus 1.725, 1.54S, square root of 21. So, this is 23.44. And what is UL? UL po, plus po tayo, plus. 24.56. Fifty-six. So, meron tayong sagot. Letter D. Yehey, may sagot tayo. Next, number three. Measurements are made on a random sample of twenty-three components. Ibig sabihin your n is twenty-three. Sir. Yes. Sir, pabalik po sa number two na wala. Okay na po. Thank you. What is your DF? It's 22. And we have standard deviation is 2.93. Your S here is 2.93. And your N, ay, meron tayong N. X bar po. X bar or the sample mean. It's 20. 100 is not the sample mean that is the population size. So 100 is pampalito lang yan. So 67.45 ang mean. Nasabi niya the measurements of the components in the sample are 67.45. And your CL is 95%. And the alpha is 5%. What is the T value of 95%? And 22. Very good. Uh, thank you, Irish. And difference for me. 2.074, ha? Hindi ko na i-check yan sa table, ha? So, this is our critical value of T. So, LL tayo. LL, we have X bar is 67.45. Minus the inter... Uh, critical value ng 2.074 multiply by 2.93 all over square root of 23 please compute the uh, L1 or the lower limit 67.45 plus 2.074 2.93 square root of 23 for UL okay 66.18 how about UL UL po 68.72 68.72 tignan natin 66.18 and 68.72 correct so we have letter C and that's it for review. Let's move on to the main lesson. Population proportion. So, kung makikita niyo, yung first letter niya is P. So, we're going to use the a small letter P here. As you can see in the slide, letter P is a common symbol for population proportion. And P hat is for the sample. <clears throat> kung meron tayong X bar for the sample mean, Meron naman tayong P hat for the sample proportion. Okay? Pero pag X hat ang tawag dyan is mole. Pero syempre, P hat is sample proportion. Okay po. And aside from that population, it, it could be a, a fraction, a decimal, a percentage, or a whole number. Bahala kayo. Decimal will do. 
here is the first formula. This is the point estimate. Point estimate is the same lang po siya sa pagkuha ng average. So, kunin nyo lang yung values ng x sa data. Then, divided by the sample size, depende kung ilang yung sample size na binigay. X are the number of successes. Ibig sabihin ito yung mga successful. Uh, successful na depende sa tanong. Yung mga tipong yes, yes, higher, higher, greater, something like that. Pag opposite, ibig sabihin yun na yung failure. At mamaya, makikita nyo kung yung opposite ng p hat or ng sample proportion. Again, point estimate is same goes with getting the uh, average or the mean. Here is the kabaliktaran ng p hat. Mayroon tayong q hat. Kunyari, meron kang uh, dito, meron kang 30. Tapos divide mo to sa 3. So, ano na lang. Whatever the result in your p hat, mas maganda makakita yung example. Mamaya. So, p hat, kung ano yung sagot dito, example is 0.81. Ito yung successful, di ba? Tapos ito yung nag-success. Ngayon, yung opposite niya is yung failure is yung q hat. Ima-minus mo lang siya sa 1 minus p hat. So, ilan yung point para makumpleto natin yung 100% ilan yung bumagsak o ilan yung failure sa 0.81 it is point ilan yung kulang para mag 100 siya 0.19 oh siya kayo ugaw yung mang compute basta ang goal ninyo is 100% si 100% po is 0.18 and 0.19, kapag minutupay mo yan by 100, magiging 100% din. Naka-percent na siya. Naka-decimal po na kasi sabi doon sa big definition, <clears throat> could be a decimal fraction or percentage. Kaya pare-paras lang yung mga yan. O diba? Ang dali lang tandaan. If it is P hat, successful. Q hat, that is the failure rate. O ilang yung bumagsak. So, parang ganun yung pagkata. Um, meaning niya. Example dito. Oh, ba may binigay na? So, random example. Random sample of 500. Ibig sabihin, ito yung N. So, ito yung N. Then, 420 nag-respond ng yes. So, yung nag-yes, nung dinivide natin, it's 420 divided by 500. That is the formula. And the answer is 0 0.84. Now, ilan yung, yung nag-no? Yung nag no sir is 0 0.16. So as you can see, we have 0 0.84 and 0 0.16. If we're going to add the decimal, the total is 0.1. I mean, 100 na yan. Okay? Next. We have the so-called SA or the standard, standard error. Yan. Nasa ano yan? Sa sa objectives natin, kukunin daw natin yung standard error which is madali lang naman kunyari, nakuha natin P dito is 0 0.84 di ba? so ang gagawin natin dyan, yung P papalitan natin, papatil, papalitan natin ng 0 0.84 yung 1 minus P hat, hat is equivalent to Q hat so nung kinuha natin yung Q hat nya, the answer is 0.16 Okay? So, ibig sabihin po, ito po ay 0.16. Don't forget na naka-square root po siya and your n is 500. Now, compute the standard error of a, if n is equal to 500 and your p hat is 0 0.84. What is the final answer? Square root. Square root nyo yung baba at sa taas ha. I-direct nyo na yan. 0 0.84 times 0 0.16 all over 500. Don't forget to include the square root ha? or the radical sign. Both the numerator and the denominator. So what is the final answer in your calculator? 0.0 Kahit si Patricia, 0.016 Si 
KL ada aspirasi I0.02 so karamihan nang sagot ay 0.016 so maniniwala ako sa 0.016 okay this is our final answer for standard error if your n is 500 or p hat is 0.84 so ganyan lang po ka simple yung standard error and the point estimate all you need to do is to remember the concept or the principle behind the point estimate and standard error Yung formula po ang aking sinasabi. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa confidence interval. Okay na tayo sa point estimate ha. Kahit isa lang ibigay kong example dyan. Madali na lang yan. Kasi kung bibigyan ko kayo kahit ilan, para para sa prosesong gagawin, nyari, binigyan ko kayo ng point estimate. Binigyan ko kayo ng n is equal to 1,000. And yung value ng x mo is, yung value ng x is, uh, let's say, uh, 600, ganyan. O, ang gawin nyo lang, di 600 divide 1,000. Kunin lang yung sagot. Kunin lang yung sagot. Kunin mo yung, kunin mo yung kulang niya para maging 100 siya per set. Di ba, ang 84 plus 16 is 100. Ganun lang yung gagawin ninyo. Kung nakuha mo na yung point estimate, ibig sabihin yun yung kanyang P hat. Kung nakuha mo na yung P hat, o oh, susunod mo yung Q hat, i-minus mo lang siya, 1 minus the P hat. Yan po, so makukuha mo na yun, yun yung tinatawag na Q hat. Then kapag kukunin mo yung standard error, divide mo siya sa N. O, oh, ganun lang po siya kasimple. Ito naman yung confidence interval, kung nakikita ninyo, meron tayong Z. So gagamit tayo ng Z. So gagamit po tayo dito ng Z table. Yung Z table po, if it is 95%, what is the critical value of 95% again if it is Z? Answer? What is the critical value of 95%? 1.96 What is the critical value of 90%? 1.96 Critical value of 90%. The commonly used, uh, um, yes, commonly used po 95, 90, and 99. 1.645. How about 99%? 2.575. Uh, these are the commonly used po. 95, 90, and 99. Next. Sir, may tanong ako. Bakit Z table ang ating ginamit? Bakit Z table ang ating gagamitan? Hello? Why is it Z table po ang kailangan gamitin sa confidence interval ng population proportion? Hello? Yes. Kasi sir, sa formula po kasi may Z po kasi using... Aside from that, aside from that, yes? Sir. Sir, kasi kailangan mo ng area. Mali. Hanapin yung area. Mali. <clears throat> Sir, so, less sabi... than 30 po yung N. Very... Come again? Less than 30 po yung N. Less than 30. So, you are uh, you're not listening. Yung paulit-ulit ko yung sinabi. Kapag yung Sir, N... greater po. Your N is greater than or equal to 30 you must use Z table. Kanina, nagsagot tayo, what is the value of N in number 1? It's 20. That's why we use T table. Mga kabot, kabot kayo ah. Sabi ko lang. Okay. Z table ang dating gagamitin kasi nga may isa title pa lang. Population ang kanyang sinabi. Kapag sinabi mong population, di ba? Maramihan yung kanyang sample. I mean, marami yung kanyang... Uh, target na pinag-experimentuhan, parang sa research, ganyan. Population po yung binanggit, kaya isa rin niya sa mga dahilan kung bakit T -tab uh, Z table. Kasi ang uh, Z table po, your N is greater than or equal to 30. Dito sa review, tignan nyo yung N niya. N is 20. N is 21. N is 23. That's why T table. Okay. Next, dito tayo sa formula niya. So, Sir, bakit mo po pinagsama yung plus and minus? 
Parehas lang naman yan. Sige, hiiwalay natin. P hat pla, uh, minus muna for L1. Parehas lang yan. Kakasabi ko sa inyo kanina, parehas lang yung concept ng day 9 and 10 and 11 and, 11 and 12. So, P hat minus yung critical value natin dito. Tapos, P hat minus 1 minus P hat all over yung square root hanggang sa baba and tapos ganyan p naman yung gagamitin natin kasi tapos na tayo sa population mean population proportion na tayo so gayahin mo lang yun so p hat plus critical value kasi l2 ito kaya plus so, diba pare paras lang yung ginagawa natin magbabago bago lang sa titan tapos multiply natin yan dito sa Shortcut yun na lang, P, N, Q, all over N. Parehas lang yung Q sa 1 minus P hat ha. So, yun yung formula natin. Kasi paano pag pinagsama, ito po yung magiging itsura. Okay lang yan, ha. Or pwede yung ilagay dyan, L1, L2. O, okay na yung ganyan. Or yung format natin na ganyan, o. L1 dito, L2 dito. Pare Parehas lang yung mga yan. Pwede i-admit natin as final answer yung number 1, number 2, then to, number 3. Okay? Memorize nyo na yung mga formula. Ito, nabanggit ko to sa inyo nung face-to-face. -face. This is the margin of error. Doon sa ating formula sa previous lesson. Sulat ko yung formula dito, di ba? Ito yung tinatawag nating margin of error. Margin of error. Okay? Yung standard error naman, ito na yon Standard error, ito na yung formula ng standard error. Wala siyang critical value. I repeat, if it is margin of error, meron siyang critical value. Yung nakabilog dito, o, oh, may critical value yan. Pag sa nabing standard error, wala po siyang critical value. Yung mismong naka-square root lang. Okay? So, ito yung mga tables. Sa table na to, huwag nyo na siyang iano kasi magkakalituhan tayo dito. Kasi tingnan nyo, may hindi parehas. Kulang siya. Yung sina nung sinabi, nyo, sinabi kong 95%, tumpak tayo dyan. Sa 90%, tumpak tayo dyan. Pero yung 99, I think, hindi siya parehas. Na 2 decimal places siya agad. Kasi ang sagot natin sa 99 is 2.575. Kasi baka sa final answer, Magka ano tayo ng one point difference. Mali, 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 mali ko pa yung sagot ninyo. Kaya dapat, eh, huwag nyo na itong gamitin yung table na nasa slide natin. Basta yung commonly used lang is 99, 95, 90. If ever may binigay doon na 96, 80, 70, ibobonus ko na yun, ha Kasi 99 and 95 and 90 lang po yung nasa module ninyo. Ha? So mag-focus tayo sa binigay sa module. Yung 92.85, nilagay ko lang dyan for future reference. Okay? <clears throat> o oh, yan o. Oh. Lower limit yan. Oh, Paulit-ulit, di ba? Upper limit yan. Ano ba ang difference ng lower at upper? If it is lower, sir, it has a minus sign. Sir, if it is upper naman, it is addition. Now, let's move on to the problem. Number one. What is the point estimate and standard error on number 1? Your x is 38, your n is 50. What is our p hat, guys? It is 38 all over 50. What is 35? I mean 38 all over 50. Answer in decimal form. Zero point seventy-six. Zero point seventy-six. How about the Q hat? What is the Q hat? 0 0.24 What is the standard error of our number 1 problem? Square root of P and Q all over N What is the answer? What is uh, 0 0.24 times 0 0.76 divided by 50? Is it 0 0.0604? Please double check the answer of Kirby. Sabi niya 0 0.604. Tama ba? Alex, Irish? Check. Andre, tama ba? 
Oh, okay. Uh, sabi ni Francesca, okay, parehas din. Right? That is the answer number one. Kasi ang tinatanong lang, lang naman dyan is the best estimate or the point estimate and the uh, standard error. That's all. <clears throat> number two. In a survey of 120 senior high school students, 72 wants to watch Korean telenovela. Find the P-hat and Q-hat where P is the proportion of the senior high school student, students who wants to watch Korean telenovela. Answer. So what is the answer in number one? What is the P-hat? 0 0.6. What is the Q-hat? 0.4. That's all. Ano bang tinatanong dito? P and Q hat lang. So, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. So, yung mga nanonood ng Korean telenovela is 60%. Yung ating uh, hindi nanonood ng Korean telenovela, senior high school, is 40% or 0 0.4. Next, number 2. A total of 150 grade 11 students who have access on internet services were asked if they play games online. Yes, Bon? Sir, pabalik po sa number one. Yan. Okay po, thank you. 72 divide 120 lang yan, Bon. Ha? 72 divide 120. So, example number two, we have 150 per N. And 83, 83 rather, ay yung nag yes. So your P hat is equivalent to 83 divide 150, 0 0.55 po yung nag yes. And for Q, I, I mean Q hat, Q hat is 0 0.45. Q hat. Q 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay na bon. Next. The statistician of a certain school wants to know the proportion of students enrolled in academic strands. The enrollment data showed a total enrollment of 238. And there were 198 daw nag-enroll sa academic strands. So ilan naman yung non-academic? So P hat is 198 divide. Ilan po yung sagot? 0.83. How about the Q hot? 0 0.17. Thank you. <clears throat> the P hat is 0 0.83 and then the non academic is 0 0.17. Academic strand 0 0.83. 0 0.17 is the non academic. Example number five a random sample of n is equal to 400. Observations for from a binomial population is produced x is equal to 250. Estimate the population proportion and find also the standard error. So what is the um, sample proportion? 250 all over 400. Answer or P hat is 0.625. So how about the Q hat? What is Q hat? What is the Q hat? What is the failure rate? Ilan naman yung ano, Q hat natin? Ilan po yung Q? So, 0 0.375. Okay, next. Let's solve standard error of sample proportion. So, we have 6 to 5 times 0 0.375 tapos all over n which is 400 answer what is the standard error of number 5 sabi ni Clarence is 0.242 sabi ni Irish 2.42 Ian 0 0.242 so maniniwala ako doon sa 0 0.0242 so 0 0.0242 yeah so 0 0.0242 double check po ang iba is 
3 decimal places. Ilagay nyo na lahat for decimal places. Pwede lang yung lumabas. So, 0.0242 ang ating final answer in number 5. If you have questions, must just open your mic or you can utilize our chat box. Yes. Sir, sir paano pala ulit kukunin yung Q hat ulit? Q hat is 1 minus 0.625. Okay. Para makuha mo yung 0.375. Okay. Oh, thank you po, sir. sir. Okay. Okay. Kasi yung, yung formula nyo, Bon, is 1 minus P hat. Yan yung formula ng Q. Okay na. Uh, yes, po. Number, number six. There are eight tayo. Among 1,000 Filipino women included in a survey show that 810 are conscious of their figure. 875 naman yung exercise twice a week. A. Find the best estimate of the proportion of all Filipino women who are conscious of their figure. Calculate also the standard error. For letter A, what is the point estimate? Who are conscious? 810 all over 1000. So what is the P hat? 0 0.81. What is the Q hat? 0 0.19. What is the standard error of sample proportion? Answer 0 0.81 multiply by 0.19 all over your n is 1000 so what is the standard error in letter a Zero point zero one two four. Zero one two four. letter b naman tayo yung nag uh, exercise daw ng twice a week so your P hat is 875 all over 1000. So what is P hat? P hat po is 0 0.875. So how about Q hat? Q hat. 0 0.125. Thank you. Diba? Mabilis lang. Kasi nagsusolve ko eh. Ah, uh, di na tayo matagalan. Standard error na. Standard error, what is, multiply nyo na agad dyan, 875 times 125, square root nga ng 1000. So, what is the standard error, guys? 0 0.0100. Sige, 4 decimal places lang. So, nga, gawin nyo ang 4 decimal places. Answer, this is number six. Ano ba talaga? Nagdami sa God. Ilan, ilan, ilan. <laughs> okay. Four decimal places. Okay, ito na lang. 0 0.0105. So, 0 0.0105. Ito yung sagot sa letter B. Okay, depende yan sa instructions na ibinigay ha. Always follow the instructions if ever na may nilagay doon na 4 decimal places, 2 decimal places, something like that. Basta palagi kayong mag the decimal places, ay I mean, palagi kayong mag round off sa final answer na lang ha. Sa final answer kayo palagi mag round off. Huwag kayong mag round off sa solution. Tandaan niyo yun. So, sa final answer kayo mag-round off talaga. Okay. Number 7. Determining the confidence interval naman tayo. Of 95%. So, hanapin muna natin yung point estimate. So, what is the point estimate? 250 all over 400. What is our P hat? What is 250 all over 400? Answer. Okay. 625. Yung Q hat naman, kunin nyo na yung Q hat niya. 0 
375. Mag-direct na natin. X bar dito, nandito X bar. So, 250 plus and minus. So, we have 95%. What is the critical value of 95% Z table? Answer, 1.96 sabi ni Parilio. Very good. 1.96. And what is the P hat? 0.625. Multiply by 300.375 Square root of your N Your N here is 400 Okay Give me LL and the UL Final answer na ha Go <clears throat> LL and UL Four decimal places po ha? Four. Four decimal places for LL and UL. Direct na yan sa calculator pwede. Direct na po tayo ha? UL daw. Oh, UL agad na solve ba? 250? Ay, sorry, sorry. I forgot the solution. Wait, wait, wait. Feeling ko mali yung 250. X bar yan eh. P hat tayo, sorry. Akala ko nasa ano tayo. Should be P hat. Or P hat here is 0. 0.3. Ay, P hat is... P hat yung formula. Hindi siya X bar. Your P hat is 625. 0.625, sorry. Ito yung formula. Para di tayo malito. Ayan o. Oh. Diba P hat... Should be, it should be P hat, not X bar. I forgot. Sorry, sorry. Kaya pala ang laki. So, dapat maliit yan. So, what is the UL and LL and UL again? Please recompute po. Uh, I forgot to change the sign. Uh, the, the P hat, uh, the X bar into P hat. Kasi we are now in proportion pala. LL is 0 0.5775. How about LL? 5, 7, ah? Ano ba? Ano ba talaga? Okay, iba pala yung sagot ni Von at si Iris. 4 decimal places, ha? So, 5776. Sabi ni Ian. So, 5776 tapos 0 0.6724. Ayan. Naniniwala tayo kay paring Ian. Ano ba talaga? <laughs> si Mikaela, 5776. Si Stabilio, 5775. 6724 naman. Tama yung UL. Yung LL naman is 5776. Sige, 5776 na po yung i-accept ko ha. Okay na. Check nyo yung sa calculator nyo ah. Ano yung mga lumabas? Uh, okay na ako sa 5776 and 6724. Sabi ni Miss Carlos, 5776 din. Okay na. Kung may tanong kayo, sabihin nyo ha. Next, ito naman. Number 8. Compute the confidence interval of population proportion based on the survey results. So, construct 95%, ibig sabihin 1.96 ulit. Among 1,000 Filipino women included in a survey should uh, show that 810 are conscious on their figure, 875 exercise twice a week. So, ano yung tanong dito? Women exercise twice a week. So, your P hat, nakuha na natin kanina to eh. Twice a week is 875 all over 1,000. So your P hat here, I think this is 0 0.875. And then Q hat is 0 
25. Tama ba? Hello? Then, punta na tayo sa LL and LL, UL na tayo. May tanong ba? Hello? May question po ba? Hello po? Wala. Okay. So, this is 0.875 plus and minus ah, o nga pala, critical value is 1.96. 1.96 tapos square root ng 875 point times 125 yung end natin is 1000. Go! Give me the final answer for decimal places for LL and UL. May nakapag-compute na po ba? Ay, buhay. Ay. Compute, compute. What is LL? What is UL? So, LL daw is 0.9. Four decimal places. Zero point nine is correct if it is one decimal lang. Pero four decimal places po yung sinabi ko kaya hindi ko siya yah accept. So puta tayo sa LL zero point eighty five forty five eighty five forty five UL naman is eighty nine fifty five LL is eighty five forty five eighty nine ah naba eighty nine fifty four eighty nine fifty five Eighty-nine fifty-five. Eighty-nine fifty-five. Okay. Stasio, bakit saan galing yung eighty-eight? Point eighty-eight eighteen. Eighty-five forty-five. Eighty-nine fifty-five. Ayan na. Ayan. Ayan na yun. Sagot na yun. Or pwede mo siyang gawing zero point eighty-five forty-five comma zero point eighty-nine fifty-five. Ano po? Nalilito ka kung paano. Yan na yung formula, oh. Sige, pakita ko kung ano. Saan ka, na, saan ka ba nalilito? Sa pag-compute using calculator ba? Hello? Sa calculator ba? Okay, sige. 0.875 minus minus 1.96 Open, then fraction, tapos pindutin mo tong arrow left para mag, eh sorry, I think muna muna yung may radical, yan. Radical muna, tapos punta ka sa loob, yan, punta ka sa loob, tapos pindutin mo yung fraction, 0.875 times, or pwede yung gumamit ka ng parenthesis, times, 0.125 sa baba is 1,000. Tapos close mo siyempre. Yan. May answer here is 85.45 which is correct. So, 85.45 is the answer for decimal places. So, palitan lang natin ng plus. Punta ka lang doon sa pinakaharap. Plus. It's 89.54 since 4 is next to 4 is 9. So, plus 1 is 4, magiging 89.55. So, your answers here for the limits are all correct. Yes? May tanong po ba? Sir, yes po. Sa ako po, kasi kung kinompute ko po dito sa calculator po, iba po lumabas sa akin, syntax error. Baka mali yung pinag-type mo. Kapag syntax error, mali yung pinag-type. Kapag mast error, hindi niya kayang i-compute. Ah, okay. Syntax error, mali yung pinag-type. Math error, hindi niya kayang i-compute. Okay. Uh, syntax error, mali yung pinag-type. Okay po, sir. Kaya tingnan nyo mabuti yung pinag-type natin dito. Kung ano yung pagkakasulat ko sa sa ating slides, sa slide mismo, sa PowerPoint, ganun din yung siya ita-type dito sa calculator. 
kung ang kung hindi naman advance yung calculator mo, ang gagawin mo diyan, square root, square mo muna manumano yan, 0.875 times 0.125, square root din ng yan, manumano, ganyan. O, gusto nyo magmanumano, ganyan, times 1.96, tapos minus 0.875. Pares lang din, 85, disregard the sign, 85-45 pa rin yung sagot. Pag manumano. Okay na po ba? Okay so, na. Okay na, Vaughn. Okay na po, sir. So, ito yung sasagutan ninyo for module 11 and 12. Complete solution ha, number 1, A and B. That's all for your activity. Going to send the recorded natin. Uh, recorded lesson and also the PowerPoint presentation. Don't forget if you don't take that risk, you can't create a future according to Monkey Delupi. If you don't have problems, clarifications, queries, dito sa ating lesson, you can you may now live the meeting. Thank you so much, guys. Sir, my question po ako pala. Kailan po pala yung deadline? Next week na lang, ipasa nyo lang next week. Sabay-sabay na lang. Sabay na lang po yung sa module 10 yata po nun, yung, kaha, yung sa araw po, i-combine yes. na rin yun po. Yes po. Ah, okay, thank you po. So, kung wala na pong problem, naiintindihan yung lesson, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye po, Sir Bohol. Bye-bye. God po, kita po. Bye, Sir. Bye, Sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, 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 Pauli ulit, pauli ulit, pauli ulit, pauli ulit, bye 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 na nga, pauli ulit pa. Uli ulit kayo dyan, uli ulit, bye 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 na.